welcome back to the garden here. I'm getting some beet greens for Doug and I, because we're going to have some beet greens with dinner tonight with some herbs. How many of you guys are eating your beet greens? Beet greens are probably one of the most nutritious things that you guys could eat, loaded in potassium and magnesium that most of our bodies are really are really needing. So I try to add this to my salad. If you don't want to have a whole beet green salad, you could go ahead and just put it in with some mixed greens and it's just phenomenal. And I even go ahead and use the stems too because they are very healthy as well. And how about this? Did you guys see my cherry zinnias? I just planted these. I showed you guys, I guess it was a few weeks ago that I was planting my fall garden and look at them. The zinnias are popping, the beets are popping, and I want to really show you something that I'm so happy with. Come into the jungle with me. Look at this cool thing. This is the zucchini rampicante that I planted and it is doing amazing. Isn't it beautiful? I already have flowers. Get my bee greens now. And I think I'm gonna add some kale to this because you know, this is my grocery store, so I'm going shopping and you're coming along with me. All right, so now look at this kale. The cabbage worms have been going crazy. Come here, look at this. See them? They're nice, fat, and happy. This isn't a matter of a week. When we were at the Heirloom Expo, this is what they did to my kale. Gotta stay on these guys. But a lot of people will throw or just pull their, their kale out and say that it's been ruined and they can't grow it. So what I do, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it off, just like this. So I got, I'm gonna give it basically a, a buzz cut. <laughs> and in a day or two, it's gonna start growing back. And then I'll have all brand new leaves coming out of it. Here's something else that I planted again in the fall garden was more cilantro. Usually it does well in the cooler weather in springtime, as well as I planted it now for fall. And look how much it's grown already. And I love cilantro. It is so good for you, and I like it, especially because it's a heavy metal detoxifier, so it's great to add to your diet. So Doug and I always like to put this in our salads. Here's some yellow peppers. Let's see. I'm get some green peppers. And I think I'm gonna get some red ones because it looks pretty in the bowl to have all the different colors. Yeah, earlier in the season, we have had so much rain and the peppers were kind of doing slow and now my peppers are going crazy. And it's been kind of challenging, especially with the tomatoes. Everything's been rocking pretty well. This year we did struggle with tomatoes because of blight, because we have so much rain this year. But other than that, my peppers are doing great. And before we get in and get those peppers started, I'm gonna get some Swiss chard. And the little tip I gave you about the um, kale, same thing with the Swiss chard. If you're having problems with it, if the bugs are eating it or it's not looking very good, like these leaves here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna clip them off and give it a little haircut too. And they will come back as well as the kale. All right, let's get cooking. Don't forget the nasturtium flowers. They always add a little pizzazz to our salads and a little color. So let's get cooking. Got everything from the garden. We're gonna go ahead and get this prepared as well as our meat mixture. I had some leftover rice from yesterday. So that gave me the idea to make this today. So I went ahead and had a couple pounds of beef. You can use beef or lamb. This is grass fed um, beef that we had. And then I'm gonna put a couple cups of rice. It depends if some of you guys, when you're cooking, that's why cooking is so easy. You can put what you like. So I like a lot of rice. So we're gonna put a little, it'll also pump it up and give you a little bit more if you wanna make more peppers. Next I have some tomato sauce. So I'm gonna probably put about half a cup or a cup of uh, tomato sauce in there. I have some dehydrated parsley, oregano, basil, and thyme and garlic. So I, it's all mixed together here. So I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put probably about mm, four nice pinches of salt in here. And once it's mixed up, I'm going to let it set a little bit while I get the peppers ready. And just like when you make meatloaf, I'm going to add an egg too. And the cool thing about all this, the eggs and the produce and the meat, everything we've got from our property. 
it just makes it so empowering to know that my grocery store is here in our yard. I washed and dried the, the peppers, so I'm just going to basically cut off the top and then take out the insides because this will be an extra special treat for the chickens. Nothing ever goes to waste here. Now's the time to start saving your seeds. Did you guys see the video that I did with Shani McCabe um, at the Heirloom Expo about seed saving? If you haven't, check it out. How many of you guys have had problems this year with those little gnats? All of a sudden, the gnats have been all over. I got one of these things, you know how you put the apple cider vinegar in there with a drop of dish soap? Well, Mason Tops has these tops now that help with the gnats. So I put these all over and they really work. Okay, so I'm putting my peppers in my pan and then I'm going to stuff them. So I kind of do, I'll give you a little secret. I always do a little dry run because you don't know how they're all going to sit in here. So I kind of put them in here to make sure they'll all fit properly and it, it seems like it worked okay. So I put it in there first. So then all you do is then you're going to stuff them. So if you have lighter eaters or kids that maybe can't eat as much, here's a smaller portion for them. And I like to make extras because this tastes great for leftovers. It's really good. It, I think the flavor tastes better. I know a lot of people think, oh, I don't like to cook, but you know what? Something is very therapeutic about cooking, you know? When you're mixing all the ingredients together and then you're making something, it's sort of like you're an artist. You know, at the end you have this beautiful creation and it tastes good too. And now before I put it into the oven, I'm gonna put some of my tomato sauce. Now this is prepared tomato sauce that I already have seasonings in. So if you have plain tomato sauce, make sure you can put what you want. If you wanna put some garlic or some onions or salt and pepper or oregano, go ahead. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top, just like that. You're gonna preheat your oven at about 375. And then you're gonna put it in there uncovered. I'm gonna be using a grill today, but you could use a grill, you could use your oven, whatever, it all works. Even uh, All American Sun Oven will work. I'm just gonna close the lid and then probably check on it at about 20 minutes and see how it looks. And here's another tip, you guys are full of nuggets today, is use your scissors when you cut up your salad because you can get so much more when you cut it up. And I like a chopped salad. I think they just taste so much better. And then that way the stems of the beets, you can cut them up really little. It just tastes so, so much better when it's chopped up. And while the peppers are in the oven cooking, I'm going to make my homemade salad dressing. If you guys are not making homemade salad dressing, you should because it is so much cheaper and you can just be prepared, make it ahead of time and then you don't have to worry about having it finished when you need it quick. And one of the main reasons you should be making your own salad dressing is because the salad dressing oils, they do go rancid after a while. So when you buy them and they're on the shelves, those oils aren't good and they cause damage inside your body. So this dressing only is gonna have four ingredients and you can pronounce all their names. So I got some extra virgin olive oil. I usually do about two parts of the extra virgin olive oil. Apple cider vinegar, and that'll be about one part. A little raw honey. It always adds a little sweetness to it. Probably a couple tablespoons. If you put garlic in, you can. You can put salt and pepper in, whatever you want. I'm just going to put a couple cloves of garlic in there because garlic always makes everything pop. And I love the way it makes it taste. And I love my garlic press. I use it every day. And then you just put your lid on like this. Shake it up. Voila, here's my salad dressing for my chopped salad later. Well, I checked on the peppers after about 20 minutes and they looked really good, so I went ahead and let them go 30 because usually I go about 30 minutes. And the way you can tell that they are finished is they kind of get a little wrinkly because you don't want your peppers to be too hard. And this tops it off, it makes it taste so good, is you can either put some good full fat plain yogurt on top or some sour cream. So I put a dollop of it on top and it just really makes it pop. And then here is my chopped salad that I made. So, so simple and easy, especially it's popping with those nasturtiums with that salad dressing that I showed you a little earlier. Well, I hope you enjoyed our farm to table recipe today. Doug's up there working hard. Have you guys guessed what's in that box yet? But I'm gonna call him for dinner. I want you guys to think about something. 
the average plate of food travels about 1,500 miles. And today, our food, it, this maybe was like 15 feet, 50, 20 feet. So when you guys are eating, you want to eat as close to where your food's coming from. You don't want it because it loses so much nutritional value. So going to farmer's markets, growing your own. So just think about that for a little bit. So if you guys want to meet other people who grow their own food like us and ask questions, Doug and I will be at Front Royal Virginia at the Homesteaders of America Conference October 11th and 12th. We would love to see you guys there and thanks for watching.